Professor Doretta and your classmate, good afternoon. My name is Lady Montenegro. Let me start with my five critical concepts. I have chosen biography driven instruction because it is very relevant for me, because I can recognize what the students know, how they learn, how they improve their English language, because it is about their social cultural environment. I can recognize if their parents are helping them, because it is about their internal and external environment. A strategy. I have learned that the correct strategy is going to help their, their knowledge. So the correct strategy makes easier English for my students and for me as well. Formative assessment. This is a daily process that we as teachers make in class. Positive formative assessment will get a good summative assessment. Lesson planning. I could refer about these three most parts that we have in our lesson plan, such as activation, connection, and affirmation. Because I have learned that these parts are very important for me, for my students, in order to improve their English language. And cooperative learning. I will focus more in cooperative learning because I consider that it is relevant. Now, what is cooperative learning? First of all, cooperative learning is a strategy. It depends on shelter methods. It is based on a student, and it is a fundamental base. Why is it a fundamental base? Because I consider that it is, I, I will become my students in critical thinkers with cooperative learning. And today, with my class, I'm going to, to do, or I'm going to work with you in groups, in pairs, in groups, for activating you and in first for affirmating you. Because it said, the structuring of a variety of collaborative learning groups, facilities, content and language development among CLG students. That means that when we apply cooperative learning with students, we make easier English for them because if they have any any thought or if they don't understand teachers instructions they can ask to their classmate and here I have a quotation from Socorro, Socorro Herrera and Mori because they say that collaborative learning promotes content comprehension. Cooperative learning important to me. I have chosen four parts because this is important because cooperative learning provides me with diversity of techniques to be used in the classroom. As we know, we have a lot of techniques to apply in our classroom, such as linking language, vocabulary quilt, trifold, foldable, and they are they are focused on groups, um, working with our students in groups or pairs, and we know that they are more effective for our students. I can recognize what is the best way that my students acquire English as a foreign language. I can develop critical thinking skills. And the most important, because the affective filter is reduced we love the effective filter, so our students are more comfortable to, to talk between themselves. And this is important for my students as well, because students learn from social environment. Students are comfortable interacting among themselves, and they are not concerned about making a perfect skills, because my students know that we do uh, some mistakes in 
in our English skills when we talk, when we read, when we write. So they are comfortable to interact with, among themselves. Okay, now I would like to start with my class, but before do it, I'm going to share this with you. This is something that I'm going to, to apply during this class. I will focus on shelter method. My strategy will be cooperative learning. My technique is linking language. My main purpose is involve students in groups in pairs. As I told you before, in groups for activation and in pairs for, for affirmation. And I will reduce language barrier. So you will be more comfortable talking among, among you. Good morning, students. Good morning, Good morning. Good morning. teacher. How are you doing today? Good. Good. Oh, nice. Please, now we are going to read our objectives. Let's read them together. A student will listen to other objectives related to people and things. Now, a student will describe Oh, 
I wrote this. Oh, oh, oh. Ah, yeah, but no. It's not okay. It's just because. That's Aya. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's nice. Okay. Thank you so much. Could be bad. Bad. Where do you sit down? <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I told you. <laughs> okay, now, please, you are group number one, right? Please, move and look, picture number two. If you are group number two, move to picture number three. And so, but what are you going to do? Please, try to recognize, try to realize what your classmate wrote or drew. Please, do it. Yes. Just realize. No, no, just look. Now. Read or recognize what your no, but in this case, in this case, so so move, 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 Move to another picture, please. Move to another picture, please. Please move to the last picture, please. Right? Now you are in your own picture. Yes? yes. Okay. Yes. Now take again your marker or your color, underline nouns that you have in your picture. I'm going 
to link my word with the picture. Okay? Please do it.